Hello, welcome everyone. In the last session, we saw how event-based model works, both theoretically as well as practically in our live BRIM system. So now let's get to today's topic, which is integration with SAP SD. Along with pure subscription services, BRIM also offers integration to our standard ERP. This can be understood with an example. Let's take an example of a telecom industry. These days, telecom companies are providing additional services of delivering SIM directly in, on our home. We just have to register for the service and pay for the plan in the website. Once approval happens, the SIM will be delivered in our address within 4 to 7 days. But we would want the billing to be started only after the SIM has reached to the customer and not from the day we made the payment, right? Also, the company might also charge some additional fee for delivering the SIM to our address. These scenarios can be handled using integration with PRIM. Here we configure the system such that if the product is of tangible type, then if the product is of tangible type, then firstly we would create a subscription order in CRM or SOM. Then instead of subscription contract getting created in previous cases here automatically a sales order will get created instead here a subscription order will not get created from subscription order automatically a sales order will get created this sales order can later be delivered by use by creating a delivery order Delivery after delivery order, we would do postcodes issue. As part of postcodes issue, we know that this that the product would leave our plant or our shipping point, and then once it reaches to the customer, then we we can do billing order creation. Here, billing order creation would be done just as normal as we have been doing in SAP SD which is VF01 transaction now here the twist will happen in our normal sales and distribution once we do billing order creation using VF01 GL account posting will happen but here instead of GL account posting an automatic invoicing order will get created in CI which later then creates a FICA document. This invoicing order will then be invoiced in convergent invoicing module which is similar to subscription products and with the invoicing document a FICA document will get generated. This FICA document then will be later converted to FI document after summarization of reconciliation key happens. So let's check how this works in our SAP in our SAP BRIM live system. So here we are again in our SOM subscription order Fiori app screen. In this case, again we are creating a subscription order which is 80246. The product which we have taken is of physical type. And here again we are having a price predetermined of 78 rupees 
just like in one time here also a contract number will not get generated directly a sales order will get created with the same number as subscription order so let's see So here we can see that our sales order with the same ID as our subscription order got created. We can see the materials. We can even see the business partner as well as our customers. the material now if we proceed ahead with our standard SAP SD configuration and then later deliver it and then later create a billing document then with that an invoicing order will get created with that invoicing order if we invoice it then a FICA document will get generated so let's summarize let's use red ink to denote our consumption based model so from SOM system as soon as subscription order will get created automatically a subscription contract gets created this subscription contract creates a provider order a provider contract in SAP CI system and this provider contract gets replicated in SAP CC system then either from convergent mediation module or from some other module consumption data records are sent and stored in uh, SAP CI system and then once we perform rating on it the uh, these records are sent to SAP CC system where after rating and charging with amount they would be sent back to SAP CI system as billable now let's use green ink to denote our subscription based model in subscription based model first subscription order will get created in the SOM system which will automatically create subscription contract in the SOM system then with that provider contract will get created but now instead of going via the consumption model of creating consumption records directly a billable item will get created if we have made that kind of configuration now let's use purple ink to denote our one time case in one time event based model or one time charge model as soon as subscription order gets created provider con subscription contract itself will not get created and from subscription order itself a billable item will get created 
oops let me erase that create it again So from subscription order directly without even creating any subscription contract, a billable item will get created. And now for the last part, in case of physical goods, what will happen is from subscription Go back again from subscription order no neither provider contract will get created nor it will directly jump to billable item instead it will go outside and then create a sales order then the sales order will follow this path I uh, in this screen I might be able to show you in a better way so the order will get created with that order sales order will get created SD pricing will happen then delivery will happen and then billing will happen Now post billing, it will not go towards GL account. Instead, it will go towards our convergent invoicing. Uh, conver uh, invoicing order will get created and then it will follow this procedure. If you see in this figure, we have this box other billing engines or order management order management is nothing but our SAP SD orders so here we can see that once the billing of SD gets created using VF01 that billing document will come to SAP CI and then invoicing will happen on that here this billing document will not go towards billable item this billing document will act as a billing document which we have been creating in all the three cases and the next step of that billing document is invoicing so invoicing will get created and then again just like in all the cases the GL accounts will get posted in Vika With this, we uh, with this I conclude my introduction to Brim course. I hope I was able to make everybody excited about the course, and in that journey, help you understand a little bit more about Brim. In case if you want to learn more about Brim, you can contact me over WhatsApp. The number is displayed as well as on the email and you can also reach out to me on LinkedIn. Thank you.